Hey everyone, Elias here. Just got done with a, a home chest workout. I want to finish up with an ad workout before breakfast. Thought I'd record it for this week's ad workout so you guys can, can follow along. Could actually get our whole course, not just the front part, but our posterior as well. We'll work our lower back. This is a quick one. Um, we're going to be doing, we're going to start off with some crunches, about 200 crunches. We're going to go into um, 50 Kimura sit ups, and then we're going to go into, I think we'll amount to about 70 uh, bike ride turns, both fast and slow combined. And then we're going to do reverse crunches, 50 of those. Uh, then we're going to plank for about 30 seconds, all right, just to give you a sense of it. You can just follow along, I'm going to call out the switches, uh, but that's about what I'm shooting for numerically in case you want to do this on your own without the video. All right, guys, I'm going to start out. This is the way I'm doing my crunches. I have my legs out in a V, climbing an imaginary rope that lifts up my chest and my back off the ground. And go. Make sure it's not just your neck. about a quarter of the way through. Halfway through, hit a hundred. Fifty more for me. Get ready for our Kimura sit up next. We're going to put our knees up, feet down, we're going to sit up and twist. That's the, uh, that's the workout part of it. I'm also going to be visualizing grabbing my opponent's wrist, but then grabbing my own, like I'm setting up a Kimura for my guard. we do 50 of these, side to side. Here we go. through my Next one's going to be a real tough one. We're going to do bike riding. Hands behind my head, alternate. So if my left elbow's coming forward, my left leg is extended, and my right knee is forward. As if we're trying to touch our elbows to our knees. So what I'm shooting for is 50. 5-0, these quick turns. Then I'm going to slow it down. One, hold, two, 
One, hold, two, for ten. We're going to try to do two rounds of that, okay? It's going to be tough. Do what you can. If you do more, do more, guys. Do, uh, we're starting in three, two, and one. Give yourself an honest twist. And hold, switch, 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 switch, two more, switch, switch, and fast. <laughs> Ready to slow it down. Hold. Switch. Hold. Switch. Hold. Switch. Hold. Switch. Hold. Halfway through. Switch. 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 Two more. Switch. Switch. Good. Rest. Next one we're going to do. We're going to lift our legs in the air. Cross them at the ankles. You can put your hands underneath your butt for a little extra support because we don't want our lower back um, arching and not touching the ground. We want to make sure it's flush uh, on the ground, otherwise it might strain our back, okay? We want to have our back flat on the ground so that we focus on the front here in our abs. So if you need that, that's cool. Otherwise, hands anywhere you like. Cross your ankles. We're going to dip low so your heels just touch the ground and engage your core and curl up. No idle movement. When we go down, we're in control. When we come up, we're pulling with control. We want both ways. It's tough. We're going for 5 zero, 50. Go. Halfway through. Ten more. Turn over to our stomachs. We're going to go palms down, elbows on our toes. Try to keep our back as straight as we can. We're going to plank. Get our lower back a little bit more involved. Not in an extension way, just in a static hold way to activate it. Get it strong. All right, guys, we're going to go for about 30 seconds on my count. Ready? And go. Activate your glutes, help support, activate your core, your front specifically, help support your back, halfway through. Good job, everyone. Again, once you get in shape and it doesn't kill you to do a uh, little lab workouts, you can do them every day. All right? uh, and it's more important that we're consistent than that we be heroes in any one particular workout. So if this was really, really easy for you, 
you can uh, do more. You can do more of each one. You can cycle through multiple times. If this one's a little too hard for you, do less. Cut it in half, cut it in thirds, right? Or if it's super, super challenging, just do one of these things. Do 200 crunches, great. Next day you can do bike rides on its own, great. Next day you can do the Kimura sit-ups, right? Um, scale this up or down according to your needs with an emphasis towards trying to do a little something, get to a point where you can do something with your core every single day. Um, especially if you're doing other stuff, if you're trying to shadow box, if you're trying to jog in place, if you're doing leg workouts, if you're doing any of the other home workouts we have or taking a lot of classes, uh, we want to make sure our core is strong um, and we're doing stuff that specifically builds it up. But a lot of other times when we're doing our rustling drills, when we're doing our guard passes, we're hinged over, we're squatted, and it puts a lot of strain on the lower back. We want to make sure we're putting time into exercises that build up the lower back and build up uh, the front of our core as well. So proud of you guys. See you all in live class. Hit me up if you have any questions. Take care.